Hmm. Cyber here. And bringing you guys the next part of What If Deku Was Raiden. Now then, without further ado, let's start. So we begin with Deku getting ready for class. <sighs> this is gonna be a long day. So, uh, Deku is trying to put on his tie at the current moment. As Deku is getting ready, he hears a knock at the door. He goes to open it and he sees Azara with the new modified Blade Wolf. So, uh, morning, Teach. Morning. Nice to see you already, and as you can see here, your robot dog has been fixed. I am more superior than an organic mutt. Can you play fetch? Affirmative. Can you roll over? Affirmative. You are a dog. Hmm. I see what you m mean now. Although, glad we both got that out of the way. So, are you ready for your first day? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. And do you, do you get the memo about my new name? Yep, we've already been told. Good, the more I can get away from my path, the better. Alright, come on, I'll introduce you to the class. Sure, thank you, Teach. Go ahead and throw the dog a bone and introduce him too. Yes, and please refer how me and Raiden met. Refrain. Yes. Thank you. So they. Headed over to class 1A as they were walked in, as the other two stayed behind. Oh, right, everyone, shut up and pay attention. They did it, they all did it, and time when no one should be. When no one should be out in the Alright, good. We have a new student joining us today. Well, technically two. As soon as he said that, he'd um, stand up. Sir, wouldn't our classroom be at max capacity then? Yes, it will. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Raiden and his companion, Blade Wolf. Deku steps in, and so does Blade Wolf. Whoa, is that not the guy who crashed through the USJ and killed all those people? Yeah, so what? I'm going to stop you both from doing this and and turn it into a shit show. Raiden here is in a very interesting situation and considering his age is the same as yours has more experience than all of you combined. We decided to enroll him and set him on the hero path Rather than one he has already gone down. Not by choice, I reckon. Now, any more statements you want to make? Um, yeah, what's up with the robot dog? I am Blake Wolf. And uh, I am Raiden's companion. That felt degrading to say. 
Well, anyways, Ryden, go take a seat next to Melissa, since you're already familiar with her. Can you teach? Blade Wolf just said wherever. Affirmative. They go back to his desk and sit down. Blade Wolf sits next to him. Alright, now we got all that out of the way. I want to show you all the Say congratulations on the sports festival. And on and because of that, you all will have internship offers. You can make your picks and whatever you want. I remind you you can choose carefully because in the future you might regret it. So what about our new classmates? They've chosen to intern with me, so don't worry about them. Just worry about yourself. Sir. Yes, sir. Melissa leans over to Deku. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm the one who asked. So who are you picking? I'm not sure. I was have a small amount of offers people offered me, but I'm guessing mostly because of my name. Alright, your last name is famous after all. Ducky looks a Around the class, and sees Ida the one he got done first. Well, it seems he's already got his internship figured out. Tell me, that guy's deal exactly? Hmm. Oh, Ida. He's a real by the rules and books kind guy. Really now? You would think he would take more time to look over his options. Um, yeah, but he's been a little off lately. Hmm. You mean Ida? You mean like Tensei Ida, a.k.a. Ingenium? The guy who was recently attacked by the hero killer? Isn't, and now is crippled? Um, yeah. <sighs> right. Mr. Azar, I'll be right back. <sighs> sure. Deku walks out and catches up with Ida. Hey, Ida, was it? Can we talk? Hmm? Sure, Raiden. What is it? Yeah, let me ask you something. Who are you going with the internship with exactly? Um. So why do you want to know? Just curious and want to get to know my classmates a bit better. All right then, I'm interning with Manuel. Manuel, huh? Why go with him exactly? Because my brother used to work with him. And every now and then talk about him. I want to go with him to someone more familiar. Hmm. So you don't have to... Hmm. So it doesn't have to do with Stain being in Hosu. Why are you so interested? Cut the crap. I know you're going... To find to hunt down Stain. So what if I am? I must avenge my brother, because of his, because of Stain. He's crippled and can no longer do any sort of hero work. 
Oh. And what do you think exactly happened to me? Do you think I was born like this? No. I got heavily injured trying to save a person who made my life a living hell. And for what? I lost my limbs, my jaw, nearly my life because I... So, because a... And become a slave and a killer against my will. So, consider him lucky to still be alive. Look, do what you want. I have no room to talk. Not killing people. That sh ship has sailed a long time ago for me. Just know you can never go back from being a killer. Deku walks away as he left... Ida stands there for a few moments till he walks off. So after that, everyone made their, ch their choice and left. And as we cut a few days later, Deku and Azara are going on top of onto patrol and overlooking a giant speech from a politician. So, why are we here exactly? Well, we're just keeping an eye out on things. Villains, gangs, are known to attack speeches like this and grab politicians for ransom and then get a quick fortune. Uh, so that's why you have Blade Wolf uh, guard the perimeter. Exactly. But anyway, just keep an eye out. So far, I'm not seeing any suspicions. Right. So you have any idea who you would vote for in, if you were old enough? Well, it's either this guy or the head of the safety community, Armstrong. That asshole, I'll admit, he's good at keeping up appearances, but he get a good speech, but he ain't getting my vote. Yeah, and from the turnout, this guy is getting... won't... Uh, you won't have an easy time getting the spot. Yeah, good thing because as all of a sudden missiles hits the crowd and be and killing people, hundreds of people instantly. The hell? As Arrow looks up and sees a helicopter shooting down in the area. Shit. Come on, we need to go down there and save as many as we can. Both Deku and Izara jumped down there from building to building, making their way down there through the chaos. As they are, Sundowner jumps down from the helicopter and onto the stage where the senator was giving his speech. Ah, good. You're alive. Sir, so, I so was worried that a rocket would kill you. And we couldn't have any fun if you died on me like that. But the people... I can't say the same for them. It's a freeze! As several police aims guns at Sundowner. <sighs> and here how the police try to ruin my fun. Sam, deal with them. The police were about to open fire until they hear a swooshing sound as their heads fell off their shoulders. Ha, <sighs> such a boot approached. 
Now come on, our train is waiting. As Aizawa and Deku is reaching the area, they see what's going on. As Racerhead, the senator. Shit. All right, come on. Both Aizawa and Deku runs at Sam and Sundowner. Ah, look like we have our company. Good. This won't be any fun without a little chase and carnage now, would it? Sundowner pulls out an RPG. Both Azawa and Deku sees the RPG and stops. And as they did, Sundowner pulls the trigger, shooting the missile. And as it comes close, Deku pulls out his sword, slashing it in half. So, sending the two the tips of it away. Uh, of course, another sword-wielding ninja. But I'm not sorry to say we aren't sticking around. We're not going to take the senator. Oh, we will. As all of a sudden, two uh, cables came down from the helicopter where Sam and Sundown uh, so lunged last on and started to fly off. Shit. They're not getting f all right, that easy. Wolf. V. So. Come. So. We can on on my position. So. Understood. Wait. We. But before Azawa could finish his sentence, Deku ran off. <sighs> Fucking hell. As we cut to Deku, who is keep chase with a helicopter where everything. Eventually, he sees Sundown and Sam jumps off it and lands on on a train. So, Deku then to starts to jump off building from building to eventually get onto the bridge. Where Deku jumps off and lands on the train cart. Stop right there. Hmm? Oh, well, well. Looks... Like, look who we have here. If it isn't the Ripper, I thought I'd recognize you. The hell do you talk about? Oh, well, hold on. As Sundowner grabs the senator and holds him up. As I was saying, I, before we were so rudely interrupted, Give a war a chance! As uh, Sundowner plunges blade through the senator's chest and throws him off the cart. No! Alright, sorry about that. Just had to finish a talk with a dear old senator. Now, as far your little explanation, we used to work together, Jack. Well, not really. We just watched you from a distance, but still, you killed the targets we didn't really want to. But anyways, glad you saved us all the trouble for getting you down. So, the boss man really pissed off when he lost you. Well, he's about to be more pissed after you don't come, after you don't come back. Deku rushes at the tomb, but as he was suddenly stopped, he got his sword parried and pushed back. Now, I can't let you do that. <laughs> well, it was fun, Sam. You can deal with him. Oh, and bring him back alive so the boss man can give Sir his Sir Sir get Sir get his way. Decker looks up to see a helicopter approaching and another set of cables coming down. 
But as Deku try to, but as Deku is distracted, Sam hits Deku in the face with the butt of his sword and pushing Deku back. Now, now, never take your eyes off your actual target. Noted. Now you're going to tell me who the hell your boss is and where I can find him. If you do, I'll let you live long enough to go to Tartarus. Hmm. Alright, if you win, I'll let you. So, Sam gets into a, a fighting stance. So, Doctor, analyze him. So, hmm. I'm seeing a few enhancements, but the main one is a robotic arm. As for quirks, none. He's quirkless. Quirkless, you say? I didn't think I made another quirkless. Yes, yes, I'm quirkless. whoop de doo now, show me what you got. Nothing against Quirkless being one myself, you know. But alright. Deku dashes at Sam and swings his blade down on him. Sam easily parried the attack and slashes at Deku's chest. Deku backs up, holding his chest. Shit! Come on, you can surely do better than that, amigo. Deku rushes at Sam and starts to try and get a few hits in. But Sam keeps parrying and dodging, all the while give, slashing Deku every now and again. Deku then winds up and... Uh, why does him swing his sword down, but Sam blocks it. Hmm, self-taught. Yeah, not bad. But there is something missing from your technique. Deku continues to attack, but to the same results and gets more damage every time. And tries attacking again and again. Ah, I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. The hell are you talking about? My tool, my weapon is a tool of justice. Sam gets an annoyed, pissed off expression and pushes Deku back and quickly slashes eye at the same time. Deku, despite the pain, uses this moment and do another slash, but Sam puts his sword up and and parries Deku. As Deku is going to falling backwards, Sam puts the sword back in his sheath and cuts off his arm in a quick succession. So, so. Sam then kicks Deku's leg out from underneath him and makes him fall off the end of the train. As he was about to fall off, Deku catches himself on the back of the train. And that is what happened when you bring a tool to a sword fight. Sam pulls up his sword about to stab Deku until he hears the sound of cars approaching. Lucky devil! As Sam looks over the road to the train, he can see several armored cars showing up. A Zara on the gunner's seat shooting at Sam. Sam starts to block and slash the bullets. While it was a... Well, it was fun while it lasted, but I must go. Everyone saw another helicopter approaching, and a cable came down, picking Sam up. I then pulled out a homing rocket, but for several buildings to block the view. 
David pulls himself up the best he can onto the train before fainting from blood loss. As we cut to now, Recovery Girl has we now recover uh Deku waking up in Recovery Girl's office. Deku looks around but can't see anything out of his left eye. Uh, what the He goes to touch his left eye, which should be there. Uh right. Sam. Recovery Girl then walks in. Ah, good, you're awake. And alive. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very common thing with you? Well, so far I've been here twice. Now missing limbs and a lot of blood. So yeah, I'd say this is pretty common. Well, good news, all those slashes run very deep, none fatal. It was like however you, whoever did this to you was playing around, or wanting to take me back alive. Hmm. Or both. Well, I have good news. You almost were fully fixed, but when I gave you gave the phone call about a missing arm to uh, Melissa, she wasn't very happy. On the scale of 1 to 10, how mad? Mm, she said if you don't die on the train, she would kill you a second time, so I say 8 to 9. Ugh. Yep, but I put in an order for another arm. I see. Well, I think my pain inhibitors will help against her. Right? I hope so for your sake. <sighs> so how long until she gets back? By tomorrow, since the city her and Todoroki were attacked by Sap, by Nomus, and apparently Stain was there as well. He killed the hero native, but got away during all the chaos. Hmm. So he didn't go after him. That's good. What was that? Nothing, just thinking out loud. Alright, well, you're fine now, and Melissa will be back tomorrow, so you'll get your arm fixed, and. Well, what if you don't need fix after she's done with you? Very well. Can I watch some TV at least? Sure. Recovery Girl turns on the TV and walks out of the room. The news is on and see the head of the safety committee, Senator Armstrong, is giving a speech on his thoughts about his opponent's death. It's a real shame, a tragedy, that my opponent kidnapped and, ki and killed. And if we wanted to combat against this type of threat, we must rethink our quirk law. Deku tries to change the channel, but every station is currently covering on Armstrong. Since our symbol of peace has been around, we've seen a long age of peace. Don't get me wrong, but heroes and police has been slacking, and if they don't protect us, we need to protect ourselves. That's why I'm running for office to keep that senseless deaths and the disasters of people so not allowed to use their quirks to protect themselves. Another rousing speech from Senator Armstrong. With his rates going up, very likely the Senator will get into office. As 
we cut to with Senator Armstrong after his speech. Hey, who's the chicken shit who gave me that bit of about All Might, that smiling ass jackass. And one of his um, many writers raised up his hand. Uh, me, sir. Alright. Write about him again, and your candy ass is out of a job, and you'll be lucky to be seen in Japan again. Got it? As he lights up a cigar and starts to smoke it. Uh, yes, sir. As he went off, Sam and Sundowner walked into his room. Everyone else leaving. Nice speech, Armstrong. The whole All Might part really got the passion flowing. You're kidding me. You like that oversized clown, All Might? The standing of peace and justice bullshit. He makes me sick. Oh, come on. A man can appreciate all he's done. But back to business. We had a little run-in with someone on our little mission. The Ripper. Oh, and did you capture him? No, unfortunately. Not I was able to injure him, but knowing him, he will come back sooner or later. He really let anything keep him down. No shit. Bad enough he got away, but now that dog, that Miss Drawson, said that I took away from Miss Drawl, so he's becoming a growing thorn on my side. At this point, we might, he might even ruin the plans. Hmm, perhaps we should think about another approach, Armstrong. After all, you did say you want men who don't let anything keep them down, and they make their own choices, and who crave their own path in life. And from what I can tell, the Ripper has done all those things, so perhaps convincing him joining us as an equal rather than a tool. Hmm. Make him an agent for me. That could work. Fine, but until then, all. So you all got a job to do. Has Mr. All made contact with All for One yet? His lackey, Wolfram? Yes, he has. Good. And how is the Yakuza doing with that little girl in the bullets? It's all getting set up. Now in a few months, we should have hundreds of couple thousands. Good. And by the release of the prototypes to the underworld, to stir up some trouble. Understood. Now I'll contact with Destro and see how the front end doing that later. But you both make sure there's more violence like at Hosu in the USJ. I need more... In Sir, demands and up my sir, ability ratings, approval ratings until then. Sir, yes, sir. So they both walked out as Armstrong smoked his cigar and continued to think about his plan. End of this part. I hope you all enjoy. Cyber out.